in let now let us design the turing machine for the language l is equal to a raised to m b raised a raised to n b raised to m such that uh, m greater than n greater than 0 okay that is number of b's in the string must be greater than number of a's okay now let us consider the string like double uh, a followed by four b's okay okay here the number of uh, b's in the string is greater than number of a's okay now the idea is same as that of the we have designed to the machine for a raised to n b raised to n okay now the only thing we have to ensure here is that whether the number of b's is greater than number of a's okay so the same um, idea we will follow here that is uh, we will uh, replace this a with x okay and move towards side side and replace one b with y then we will come back to left side and replace the a with x okay and uh, again move, we go towards the right side and replace a b with the y okay so we now we have replaced the equal number of uh, we have marked equal number of a's and b's okay now if the tab have extra b's before reaching the blank symbol we can say that the number of b's in the uh, string is greater than number of a's okay so now let us start design the turing machine for the same okay so we will start with the uh, initial state q0 okay and uh, as we seen in the previous videos what we will do uh, from the state to q0 if the input symbol is a we will replace that a with the x and move towards side side okay and from the state to q1 if, if there are any a for n number of a's we will keep that a as it is and move towards side side okay and there is a chance that uh, we may see some y from q1 so we will keep that y as it is in the tab and move towards right side okay and from the state to q1 if we see the symbol b we keep replace that symbol b with the y and the tab head will move towards left side okay and while moving left side whenever uh, the symbol a occurs we will keep a as it is and move towards left side and also there is a chance that we can see the symbol y also while we are moving towards left side this y we can see okay we will keep that y as it is and move towards left side and at last from the state q2 we will reach the uh, see the symbol x okay then we will replace that symbol x with uh, x itself and that is we will keep x as it is and move towards side side and change this to q0 okay now uh, at last uh, uh, this, uh, now then the situation will be like this from state q0 we will see the symbol y and we will follow the same procedure as we done in the previous lectures okay so when q0 if we see a y we keep y as it is in the tab okay and uh, the tab head has to move towards the right side okay and uh, this process will repeat until we process all the y's okay this procedure will repeat until we process all the y's okay and uh, at last uh, so q3 y will be the okay and uh, then now q3 b will be the situation okay that is now uh, from the state q3 previously we end up here from the state q3 if we see a blank symbol we can say we reach the final state but we have next we have to ensure whether one more at least one b is in the tag okay so from the state q3 it is possible to see a single b okay then it is better to keep b as it is so that in the final output we can show that the number of b's are greater than number of a's okay we will keep b as it is and the tab head will move towards side side okay so we will change the state to q4 also we, okay and from the next is it, uh, it is there can be any num many number of b's okay than a okay here we have two uh, number of b's uh, two b's are the greater than number of a's okay so we will keep that b as it is and uh, move towards right side and at last we will see the blank symbol then we can say that uh, uh, the number of b's in the string is greater than number of a's okay so the blank symbol we will keep the blank symbol as it is and the machine will stop so the q5 will be the final state okay uh, so if the ins we will instant in this description we write it uh, write it as it is q0 double a double b double b okay 
at last after processing a number of states we will end up like uh, x x y y double b q five okay as we replace the equal number of a's and b's a's with b's okay and we have two additional b's in the input string so the number of b's are greater than number of a so the string belongs to the given language